Okay, we're going to talk about the concept of fully diluted shares outstanding. Uh, so this is a term that is often uh, used when describing the ownership percentages or the cap sheet of the company. So fully diluted shares outstanding essentially means the total number of shares outstanding if everyone who had the option to convert to shares converted. Uh, so these are option holders, potentially bond holders that have convertible bonds. Um, we're going to go through some simple examples uh, for this explanation, but it essentially means if everybody who had an opportunity to convert to a share did, how many shares would be outstanding? And you, you usually want to think about your ownership percentage in terms of uh, what is that ownership percentage in relation to the fully diluted number of shares out there. So we're going to talk about a fictitious company here called Hasselhoff Incorporated. Um, Let's say David Hasselhoff started a company and to sell his merchandise and things in Europe. And what would that cap sheet look like and what uh, does fully diluted shares outstanding mean in this case? Um, so let's start with this. There have been 10 million shared issued, uh, shares issued by the corporation. Uh, and this is kind of where those shares have gone. Uh, I've split this up into preferred stock, common stock, and options outstanding. Uh, the preferred stock you know, VC investor number one has two million shares, investor number two has two million shares, and that's preferred stock. That gets all of the advantages and preferences that preferred stock sometimes has. Uh, and then the common stockholders, you've got founder number one and founder number two. They, founder number one owns three million shares, and founder number two owns a million shares. And then when the VC investors invested, as we've discussed in other videos, they created an options pool. Uh, that's what this is right here. And some of those options have already been handed out to employees. And in this case, none of the employees have exercised their options yet, which is very important. Uh, and these are the options available for the company to hand out. So you can see here, you've got each of the VC investors owning 2 million, a founder owning 3, and the other founder owning 1. So each of those groups has 4 million. And then there's 2 million, roughly 20% of the company has been allocated to this options pool. However, these options haven't been converted into common stock yet. They haven't been exercised. So they're still kind of sitting out here on the cap sheet. So what does that mean? If you add all these numbers up, there's 10 million shares outstanding. So if we look at what percentage, if we ask the question, what percentage of the company does VC number one own if it's fully diluted, you would take all of these shares and add them up to 10 million. He owns 2 million. So VC number one, fully diluted, owns 20% of the company, okay? Now the reason that's important is because if these options aren't exercised, or if the company sells before these options are handed out, uh, then the options return to the uh, company's ownership. Uh, and in that case, uh, these shares would disappear, from a simplistic example. So if we don't look at fully diluted, imagine that all of these option holders don't have shares. In that case, there's only 8 million shares outstanding, and if he owns 2 million, he owns 25%. Okay, So that's a big difference uh, in ownership for this VC. Um, also, if you were to look at these guys, the founders, if they own 4 million, that's the difference between them owning 50% if the options don't exercise, and if they do, it's 40% ownership. Um, so that could be a big chunk of money uh, and can be an important difference in when figuring your own ownership percentages or ownership percentages of your investors. Uh, generally, you're going to want to think in terms of fully diluted shares outstanding, meaning what percentage do I own if all of these become shares, convert to common stock. Uh, and essentially, that's what fully diluted means.